Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for May 28th, read by Scott B. from Detroit, Michigan. AA Thought for the Day Fact The great fact is just this and nothing less that we have had a deep and effective spiritual experience which has revolutionized our whole attitude toward life, toward our fellows, and towards God's universe. The central fact of our lives today is the absolute certainty that our Creator has entered our hearts and our lives in a way which is indeed miraculous. He has commenced to accomplish those things for us which we can never do by ourselves. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 25. Thought to Consider Patience with others is love. Patience with self is hope. Patience with God is faith. Acronyms. Fear. Failure expected and received. That's for damn sure. Just for today. Priorities. From, he lived only to drink. I was also able to realize that this bonfire of resentment and rage was beckoning me to pick up a drink and plunged me into my death. Then I realized that I had to separate my sobriety from everything else that was going on in my life. No matter what happened or didn't happen, I couldn't drink. In fact, none of these things that I was going through had anything to do with my sobriety. The tides of life flow endlessly for better or worse, both good and bad, and I cannot allow my sobriety to become dependent on those ups and downs of living. Sobriety must live a life of its own. Fourth edition, Alcoholics Anonymous, page 450, 451. Daily Reflections Equal Rights At one time or another, most AA groups go on rule-making benders. After a time, fear and intolerance subside, and we realize we do not wish to deny anyone his chance to recover from alcoholism. We wish to be just as inclusive as we can, never exclusive. A Tradition, How Developed, page 10, 11, and 12. AA offered me complete freedom and accepted me in the fellowship for myself. Membership did not depend upon conformity, financial success, or education, and I am so grateful for that. I often ask myself if I extend the same equality to others or if I deny them the freedom to be different. Today I try to replace my fear and intolerance with faith, patience, love, and acceptance. I can bring these strengths to my AA group, my home, and my office. I can make an effort to bring my positive attitude everywhere that I go. I have neither the right nor the responsibility to judge others. Depending on my attitude, I can view newcomers to AA, family members, and friends as menaces or as teachers. When I think of some of my past judgments, It is clear how my self-righteousness caused me spiritual harm. As Bill sees it, more than comfort. When I'm feeling depressed, I repeat to myself statements such as these. Pain is the touchstone of progress. Fear no evil. This too will pass. This experience can be turned to benefit. These fragments of prayer bring far more than mere comfort. They keep me on the track of right acceptance. They break up my compulsive themes of guilt, depression, rebellion, and pride. And sometimes they endow me with the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Grapevine, March 1962 Big Book Quote Despite all we can say, many who are real alcoholics are not going to believe they are in that class. By every form of self-deception and experimentation, They'll try to prove themselves exceptions to the rule, therefore non-alcoholic. If anyone who is showing inability to control his drinking can do the right about face and drink like a gentleman, our hats are off to him. Heaven knows we have tried hard enough and long enough to drink like other people. Alcoholics Anonymous, More About Alcoholism, page 31. 24 Hours a Day AA Thought for the Day In AA, we learn that since we are alcoholics, we can be uniquely useful people. That is, we can help other alcoholics when perhaps somebody 
who has not had our experience with drinking could not help them. That makes us uniquely useful. The A's are a unique group of people because they have taken their own greatest defeat and failure and sickness and use it as a means of helping others. We who have been through the same thing are the ones who can best help other alcoholics. Do I believe that I can be uniquely useful? Meditation for the day. I should try to practice the presence of God. I can feel that He is with me and near me, protecting and strengthening me always. In spite of every difficulty, every trial, every failure, the presence of God suffices. Just to believe that He is near me brings me strength and peace. I should try to live as though God were beside me. I cannot see Him because I was not made with the ability to see Him, else there would no room for faith. Because I can feel His Spirit with me. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may try to practice the presence of God. I pray that by doing so, I may never feel alone or helpless again. Hazleton Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Scott, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.